Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hello. Hey, hello. Please sign up in the KMD document while waiting. So what do you think? Should we get started on there? Sounds good. Yes. Okay. First in the agenda, we have action item review. Was there any action items from last week? And I don't think it was. There was one on Andrea to make the poll on the name. And that's done. Other than Andrea, you also had an IP to an action to check with CDF for branding. Did you do that? Uh, sorry, what was the, the other action? Uh, to check with CDF for branding check. Uh, in the last meeting. Yes, yes, no, I've not done that yet. Okay. Um, I want to, yeah. See if we could uh, pick a name. So what, yeah, exactly. Do we need to do that before we pick a name or I guess we don't, do we? We can at least propose something and then. I, I we say we that. would figure out the name and then go through the due diligence to make sure that it's all good to go from the exactly. CDF and other branding perspectives. Yeah, yeah. sounds good. I think that would be the easier route to go. Yep, yep. So next up in the agenda is then the name discussion. Uh, we think we, we thought we'd take that first before we go into the ordinary agenda items so we don't uh, miss, miss it, so to say. So the results are, as Andrea just pointed pasted in the chat as well in the Sig events Slack channel. We only have five replies. And there is a astonishing majority for CD events in that one. Um, okay. It's up to eight response. I oh, know that's the wrong form, sorry. <laughs> I thought there was suddenly more responses, but no. Uh -huh. You got the wrong wrong poll site or yeah. yeah. Okay, from the previous one. Yes, so yes, we're still at five. Still at five. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so maybe we can ask in this meeting: Has everyone here 
answer to the poll? Or is it anyone who wants to take one minute to answer it before we continue? Since we are six people here, I believe at least one of us have not answered. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have, but it, I'm in the, the CD events. It works for me. Hmm. So it's not going to change the... the make the majority even bigger. Yeah. yeah. So why don't you provide it in the poll? Do we have a poll link, by the way? Where is that, Andrea? I... Uh, I don't find it now. Oh, it's in the stack, of course. I can paste it here in the chat. Someone did already? I, I just did it, sorry. I was looking uh, to it myself. Uh, I was on mute. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it in the chat? Okay. Yeah, it's in the chat. So please put in your vote there, unless you haven't already. I think we got the thumbs up from Eric, so I believe you have answered at least, Eric. <laughs> yeah, Maybe. I just I just finished I I have, yeah. the poll, so yeah, great. So of course, if you don't have an opinion, you don't need to answer. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Do you, have you answered, or do you want to answer? And Tracy, did I not do it? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I think I did. I did it. You did it as well. Okay. Then maybe it's just us six who have answered them. That's fine. Let me look to see. <laughs> CD events is what I would have voted for anyway. Yeah, that's what almost everyone voted for. One, everyone but one, I guess. All but one did. So, uh, what do you say? Should we then settle on that name or? I think so. Let's. Yep. I don't see why why we shouldn't. I say we so. move to the next step on that. Yeah, yeah. I add to the agenda decided CD events it is. Or not sure exactly how to spell it or what where to put white space and such, but because that's like exactly decided, right? There, I submitted it <laughs> just because <laughs> now it's official. <laughs> okay. Great. Yeah, I think we could do, I would follow whatever the format that the CD Foundation is using for themselves. So if it's CD.foundation, that we would do CD.events, or if they're doing something with CD, then a space, then foundation. I would just follow whatever that format that they're using just to be consistent. That, that'd be my thought process behind it. Um, so a domain name proposal would be cd.events, I guess. If that's, or is that a domain name, events.cd, of course. Or maybe the other way around. Doesn't really matter, does it? No, I think when I checked, I don't remember if cd.events was available, but events.cd was available. But it's like Congo is a top level domain or something like that. Mm -hmm. But it seems to be open for for arbitrary registration. Yeah, they seem to be to, to be open because I think CD is popular across uh, also for complete disk. So um, And for the GitHub organization, because we said we should have a GitHub organization, right, for this. Right. Uh, yeah. Should it then be CD space events or or CD events in one word or? I think it should be one word. Yeah, that's yeah. the way the CD Foundation did it. It uh, okay, so yes. CD Foundation's one word. I think we should just do CD events one word. Yeah. Uh, at the organization level. I believe, okay, so yeah, the path will be CD events and that's all lowercase as well. But then of course the, um, what we have, what we call it, what is the spoken name, so to say, could be something else because in CDF it's actually 
CDF or even continuous delivery foundation it's spelled out uh, if you open the CD foundation github organization page so oh CDF, yeah yeah so yeah. but the path is CDF foundation yeah right yeah that's just in the description um yeah. of the organization you can spell it out so we should of course check if that is already taken i guess it, well, it could be of course how do you create an organization by the way in, in github is that just you just questioning? under you sign in underneath your prof your personal id and then say just create a, an organization yeah yeah, yeah. And so anybody can do it. It doesn't have to be somebody from uh, the Linux Foundation. Now, down the road, um, you get into the whole security thing. You know, you, if you're using uh, Teams, uh, which seems to be the more popular route uh, to set up Teams within the organization that gives access. But initially starting, you just give everybody access, make life easy. I'm going to make it a free organization, I guess. So it's on no cost or? Yeah. yeah. Who is yeah, doing yeah. this, by the way? Sorry? Am I, do am I doing it or someone else? If, we should um, if, if you want to experience the thrill of creating an organization, go ahead. Right? And having all the, the responsibilities with people calling you at 3 o'clock in the morning when they can't get in. That's <laughs> um, to have it. So is it going to be CD event or CD events? Um, because in the poll we had with the S CD events. Um, should, I yeah, think it should be plural. Plural, yeah, yes, with the S. Oh, yeah, sorry, I, I, oh, I read, yeah. I was wrong in the, in the note there. So I tried to register CD events then organization now, that's account name. And contact email, that needs to be a personal email or? Uh, to start out, that's the easiest um, until you, and you can go and substitute that down the road. When you transfer the organization to the Linux Foundation, I think they would um, go into the organization, put in all the Linux Foundation stuff. But right now, we don't have to worry about that. By the way, maybe yeah. I should share my screen while I do this so you see what I do. Uh, <clears throat> Just a sec. Yes, I believe it's best we do it right away. Um, so, do you see my screen sharing now? Or, yeah, you do, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, I guess so I, I take that. Think... Is it the personal? Is it called a business institution, or is it the personal thing? Or how do you state? I mean, it's you not can do. Mine, but... a... You can do it. It needs to belong to some institution and not my. So the institution will control it. Should it then, could we state see the foundation here? Do you want that? Or maybe, I am not sure if we want it. How is it done? If you want, we can, I mean, I you could create it uh, I don't know if it's possible to transfer it to change from personal to business once it's created. I guess it must be. I mean, as long as we can just register the name, then I guess we can yeah. leave it to someone else, I hope. I yeah. think, okay. I think yes. the then account. I would set it I up think, for the person. And I think yes, your account name will be CD Space Events. And then it'll get translated. So try typing in uh, capital C, capital C, capital D space. No, okay. it need okay. a dash event. Yeah, that's why I wasn't sure. So we'll make it this then. Yeah. 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 So I make it a personal account to begin with, and then we see if we can, if we should move it or whatever later on. Yeah. Great. Solve this puzzle. Pick the spiral galaxy. That must be that one. Yay. I could never get those. <laughs> Organization members. 
uh, okay yay and then well, I, we have all of us now or you could just uh you just use sb taylor sb yeah taylor 15. There you go. Someone else who wants to join? Tracy? Tracy, yeah, just Tracy Reagan. All one word. There you are. Should we leave it as that or should we add Eric and Shruti yeah. as well for now? Either way, you can you can always add more people later, so it's not. Oh, there's uh Eric has his on the yeah, board. Eric's in the chat, yeah. Eric. Okay, let's do it like that now. We can add more, of course, later on. Yeah. Okay. There is my secret password. I'm happy this was not recorded. <laughs> it's not the password. Yeah, okay. Zoom has, Zoom has a new feature to, to uh, record keystrokes now. <laughs> I, I, I had it in, the, in my Google browser. No problem. And now you can go ahead and create a repo underneath that. I guess this is already welcome, sorry. Uh, where does it happen? Here? So up under oh. uh, the plus on the right. The repository. And then uh, change uh, owner will be the CD events. Event? Yay. And we should have some. Um, is there a community repo first, or what should we have? Uh, Protocol maybe? Could... Yeah. I, I, would have yeah. what? That I think you should have like one for vocabulary. It, this isn't something that we need to do right now. No, exactly. We don't need to do it exactly now. I think we should yeah. go on and see what we, what actions we can take later on. Yeah. So let's, let's just leave it as this now. Um, uh, at least back. we got over the hurdle of having the uh, organization, so we're good on that front. Yes, yes. So we can maybe, I'm not sure if we should, oh, whatever. It's there now. Uh, so what about the name then? Name then. Has someone during the time looked it up or? For which part? So see the events, so I agree. That's for the, nice. for the, the listeners. Um... For me, mean for the domain name? The domain name events.cd and the reverse is then cd.events. So in the uh, event types, for example, it will state cd.events. Blah, 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 blah. I guess. Yeah, cd.events is grabbed by somebody. Uh huh, okay. That would be interesting to know, to know who it is, or... It just says it's parked. Yeah, that's somebody grabbed it. I hate that. So They're not using they it, they just parked it. We can't see who. Events.cd is available. Um, there is your DNS, for instance, say, sell it. What about CD events.io? That one's available. Mm -hmm. What what's a what does Tecton use? Is it a .io or .dev? It's, it's a it's a .dot .dev. Um, I think there was some. It is the right word. Um, I read an article about the .dot .io uh, domain. There might have been some not so nice story behind it. I don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it comes. It comes out of Indonesia, so it's a whole. Exactly, weird... it's some yeah, some island it's somewhere. Indian Ocean. <laughs> I yeah. think it's yeah. Indian Ocean. 
and they have their own registry and stuff like that. It's um, so it's can be a little complicated, but but it looks yeah, like CD events dot, dot dev is available. So cloud events is cloud events dot io. Uh, Tecton is tecton dot dev. What about Captain? It's dot sh. Yeah, right. What does sh stand for? Or why is it called Captain dot sh? Yeah. Santelena. But I'm not um, sure why people share issues dot sh. I don't know. Isn't that to uh, invoke the feeling of like a shell script or something? So either it's something that can be invoked. Could be. Saint Helena. Yeah. yeah. I guess there's <laughs> If we want to follow the, the typical naming structure, I think like uh, github.com would translate to com.github, so it would be events.c, right? If we want to follow that standard. It was a bit hard to hear, Eric. Uh, sorry, I'm out in the, in the wind. Uh, yeah. uh, there we go. Uh, that should be better. Yeah. So uh, I was saying if we want to follow the standard, which would typically say that like github.com would be com.github if you want to turn it into like a Java package or something, then it would mm -hmm. probably be events.cd that we want to follow that standard. And we can, of course, have another address that is like more belonging to the organization. But just to reserve the name for the spec, we could have events.cd. Yeah, I'm showing events that CD has been taken, but I'm not oh. 100% on the name look up here. I think we should either use CD events.io or CD events.dev. Yeah, but I think Eric is a a point. So we, if we decide to have a website or um, something like that for, for the domain, uh, sorry, for the uh, website, we might still have a, a domain reserved and that we can use for the event types. Because the cloud spec specification says that uh, your event type should be the reverse of DNS names that you uh, own. Um, so then if we if we own the, the events.cd domain, then our event type types could be cd dot events dot uh, whatever event it is. Uh, right. So yeah. That, yeah, that does make sense. I would see I, I think events.cd um makes sense. And if we can figure out if that one's available or not, that'd be great. You're right. It does state that it's unavailable now. It was available when I looked uh, half a year ago, but now it comes up as unavailable. Where, where, where are you looking? Uh, Conic Africa, uh, one of the registrars for the .cd domain. Okay. I, I checked on your DNS, and it says it's available, but to conduct support. Um, so I guess I could. Is there a generic way to search for if an, a domain name is available or not? It seems all of them are connected to providers, and it's only if it's possible to get it through that provider that you can see if it's available or not. Or where did you look, Eric? Uh, first, I looked at uh, conic.africa. Now I'm looking at Webnet Africa instead, and now it comes up as available. So I guess someone just needs to try to, to get it and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at I'm looking at ICANN, which is the, the highest level, and it's not showing there. Um, it shows that it, uh, events that CD is available. 
So I think we should put that one down and see what happens. Um, we'll have to open an issue with uh, the Linux Foundation to have them grab it for us instead of us one of us grabbing it and trying to do a transfer then. Yeah, it makes sense. Would someone like to do it? Um, yeah, I can do it. So this is what I got from looking at the Instant CD if I can. So does that mean that it's not taken? Yeah, it's weird. When I go to GoDaddy, it shows that it's unavailable. So it, it's hard to tell until somebody, I don't know who um, Linux Foundation is using for the register. Let me look up the Linux Foundation. So, Andrea, are you doing it right now or should we do it later? Or uh, You have to open a JIRA ticket and then um, you have to wait for the uh, network guys to get back to us. Usually takes okay. like an hour or so. Uh, okay, so should we look into what else we should be doing now? for the new name. Um, we had some notes on that, didn't we, some time ago? Yeah, I think so. Where did we note that, Andrea? I think it was in the some past meeting. Yeah, I'm looking very far <laughs> now, but I can't find it. Maybe I went too far. Okay, maybe it was in other. Hmm. Strange. Maybe someone erased our notes. So I think the um, uh, there's a TOC meeting tomorrow. So yeah, so we'll I'll bring up uh, at the TOC meeting that we've decided on a name and we've created an organ. Just kind of bring them up to speed and let them know that that's we're moving forward and getting some of our repo reorganized. So that will be the, an action item from, from my side. Let the TFC know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Steve. Check. Check.
So what else do we intend to bring there, Steve? Uh, ask for um, some. Help. Well, on the um, uh, there from the the TOC side, they're uh, reworking some of the. Um, there are some stray documents that were around about becoming a project under the CDF, and we're working on reorganizing those and getting some templates out there. So I have to find out if that where we are tomorrow on that. Um, and I think from there, we should then look at the the next steps and getting a, a project proposal in front of the, the, the TOC. Right. It'll probably be a, probably be like a, at least a month or so out, but um, I would say we'd want to shoot for year end to have um, uh, the events be a project under the CDF. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're that far off, but I think um, we just need to make sure that we 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 get all the paperwork sorted out correctly. Okay. That'd be my recommendation. We need to draw an icon as well, right? For the... uh, eventually, we'll need a, a, an icon. Is someone willing to spend some time on drawing things? And I don't know if we want to use the icon that Tracy came up with or a, a different one. That or... was mostly for the, for the listener, wasn't it? The EV. That's right. All right. So yeah, we'll have to. Um... We might be able to reach out to um, Steve. Why don't you ask about icons and stuff uh, tomorrow in the TOC meeting? Maybe we can. Uh, maybe they'll let us use the CD Foundations artist to do that. Okay. I will add that to my list for tomorrow. It would be great if that icon could be some kind, something that could then be added to this uh, the EV icon, for example. So like, I don't know, some kind of notes or whatever. It yeah. Can be streaming yeah, ex into the headphones of EV or something. Exactly. That's why I was, if when you put the two of them next to each other, it kind of, that, I mean, that would be kind of cool. So you, if we had, right. you know, each, each part that we have um, be an icon that we kind of string together and tell the whole full story. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So each like sub project or each uh, component. Yeah, that uses exactly. The protocol, to get that within their own icon somehow. Yeah. And if we could kind of string them together, you know, kind of like a string of emojis. Mm -hmm. So Tracy, will you bring it up to City Foundation artists or? I'll, I'll bring up tomorrow to find out wh yeah. what resources we have uh, available. Yeah. So the Twitter handle is taken, unfortunately, ah. by charity designer events. Uh, share it to the sign event, yeah, of course. Um, but we might find something similar. Yeah, those aren't as crucial um, with the Twitter handles. I mean, you could add dashes and... Yeah add a couple characters and things like that. So there's there's way on the Twitter side it's not as bad. That's true. Yeah. So Twitter handle, will you look into that 
Andrea, to find something or? Um, sure. Um, I mean, we, we will need some email to, to register it, but I guess I could register it to some personal email and then maybe transfer it. I don't know how it works. Um, what else? I can't remember where we noted that. If there was in some other Akemta document or somewhere else. Protocol naming notes, maybe that's it. We have a Akemta doc document for that. Uh, no. That's quite empty. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I think in any yeah. case. Sorry? No, I, I was saying, I think in any case, this uh, seems like the, 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 the main things that come to mind at least uh, that we have to address for, for the name. I mean, uh, I mean, we'll need to, um, when, when we move the spec and the SDK into the uh, new GitHub org, we might need to make sure that all the naming used in documents is a uh, aligned. Um, the event types match, and I think we we have CD events now uh, in there, if I'm not mistaken. So that should work quite well. Yeah, hopefully that's not taken so you don't have to do too much rework on the, the, the events themselves. Hmm. Okay, so that's it for now then. Or... Yeah, the only other thing I just want to give you an update from the Artilia side is we're working with, um, I, I have a a working group in Australia, and uh, they've been focusing around GitOps and Argo CD and Captain. So from the Ortelia side, we are going to be looking at uh, events for uh, between Captain and Ortelia, and we're planning to write those in a, a cloud event structure. So um, just to give you a heads up, that's that's we're working on that. Nothing we're really, really early on. So once we have more, I'll I'll share that uh, with the uh, the group. Good, yeah. But that's great. So, as do you think uh, the the idea is that uh, they could use uh, you could use the structure, the schema we are defining here for events, or that's there... the plan is to. Um, so in the the the, the captain world, uh, they have a concept of a product, and that maps over to be in the Ortilius world what we call an application, and then they have stages, you know, stage of your pipeline, and we call them uh, environments. So there is a a good map between uh, the captain and Ortilius, other than some wording. Um, but the idea is to create an event to let us know that a, something's been built and that we need to register uh, that service in the Ortelia side. And then the other event will be to um, actually deploy. So uh, in Captain would be say deploy uh, this product to this uh, stage, which translates to pro deploying this application to this environment in the, in the Ortelius world. So um, that there, there's right now, it looks like there's going to be two uh, event types. One is going to be the, the service registration 
And then the second is going to be the deployment. OK. Yeah, that's very interesting. Um, I think it, it would be good, it would be interesting to um, have then a POC similar to what we have done with uh, Tecton and, and Captain, then mm -hmm. including Rotalius. And yeah, so if we can even align on the type of messages or, or events that we sent, we can. Yeah, that, make that's the. That's the plan, is to align as much as we can. Right. Since, we're, then... we're, since we're starting from scratch, it'll be easier to, to align as much as possible. Great. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's early on. So once I know more uh, what the exact details, I'll share them with everybody. Sounds great. Uh, when talking about aligning uh, on the SIG interop meeting last week or last time, uh, there was a presentation on the Jenkins uh, Google Summer of Code project for cloud events. Uh, and then they send a lot of events from there now. Uh, and they said they got some inspiration and they synced with some of us in the SIG. I wasn't part of it myself, but I'm pretty sure that those events that are defined there are not exactly what we have defined so far uh, in the SIG protocol. So maybe we need to reach out to, to discuss it more with them as well in Jenkins. Um, so we can think a bit more there. Yes, Emil, I'm here from the Cloud Events plugin for oh, Jenkins. Sorry, yeah. Of course, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, I think in terms of, you know, like structuring the event of how it needs to look like, it needs to really align with um, the yeah. event's uh, SIG team. And like, you're right, it was, you know, like inspiration more in terms of what needs to be sent rather like than the structure. And I think that's one of the very important points that um, I wanted to talk about is, you know, like in the future, aligning all of the sort of that event data, metadata, and, and very much with the vocabulary. Uh, so so what, what is the status of the, the, the plugin right now? Uh, is it like, it, it, it's published, right? So it, it's available? Yeah, it's published as, uh, so right now we have Jenkins as a source of cloud events, and I've been working on Jenkins as a sync. So there are a couple of things with consuming events from Jenkins, which you know, again, is a bit of that structure issue because if the events were more standardized, it would be easier to find what or how do we want to filter on specific attributes. Uh, but the Jenkins is a source, that part is published and it's for use. Mm So we need to keep the, the sync going. Um, I was thinking about if we should have some kind of POC there as well between Jenkins and something else, like Tecton or Captain or with the events that we are actually defining here, if that's possible somehow. Um, but we don't need to Like, like a... Um, like, like something that would intercept events? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, like sending SIG events from or to Captain from Jenkins or to Jenkins or whatever. Um, so using the actual SIG events that we define. And of course, yeah, transform think... them somewhere. Yeah, that's a, that's a really great idea that I think that can work into a current POC with, uh, that was developed with on so it, 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 that vocabulary we can fit it in there I, that, that can really work I feel mm -hmm. we are, because there already is a similar sort of like the the POC which was developed for by Andrea and also Mauricio for using captain and um, tucked on with um, I'm sorry <laughs> forgetting my words 
Uh, so we can like move that similar architecture and just transform that vocabulary using that vocabulary. I think that that can work, I believe. Mm -hmm. So it's some, that's something we should plan to work on in collaboration now, or is that something you would like to do by yourself, Shruti, or your rankings team or something? Yes, I would love to work in collaboration. And I'm still very new to the team, I think. So I would love all um, help and collaborate it. Mm. Of course, the events we have defined so far are not at all set. I mean, they are not, they are in a very early beta stage or something, so they can change quite radically, I believe, still. Um, but I think it would be nice to see I mean, uh, some communication between that Jenkins plugin that you're developing and something that really uses the protocol we we do. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so I'm not sure, um, Andrea. Yeah. No, I, I was going to ask: is is the idea for the sync side of the plugin to be like the same plugin and Jenkins? basically being able to send events and then listen to answers and kind of orchestrate um, the events sent and received and connect them. I'm just trying to understand yeah. if the idea is that Jenkins would send events and then to, to trigger something external and then get the information back and visualize that via the Jenkins UI or the idea is to just send events and being decoupled. So for now, it's just sending events, but this was one of the points that came up with uh, also, you know, the idea that you're bringing about visualizing and ho holding that open communication between the receiver and the sender. Uh, so that that is something that I, I've been working alongside Vibhav, who is also on the team on making that sort of architecture. Uh, for both the source and the sync, so when the source is sending an event, getting that sort of acknowledgement back of what happened with the event, and for the sync, if it's receiving an event, to set filters, and then based on those filters, basically like trigger a job or um, start a new build or something similar. Okay, I see. Thanks. <clears throat> Okay, so to not uh, drop that discussion just there, um, what would be the next steps? I'm sure from Tecton perspective, Andrea, if you think there is something that you can be part of or someone in your neighborhood, <laughs> or how, how should we drive this? Um, yeah, I think we, we need to identify a use case uh, that we want to showcase uh, specifically uh, if we built a new POC. And I think from a technical point of view, uh, shouldn't be uh, difficult to, to create new POCs. I mean, we have this, it's still an experimental component for setting cloud events in the CD event format. Um, so it only supports the, the events, the type of events that we needed for the POC. But if we need different kind of events, it should be pretty straightforward to add more events. So um, yeah, once we, we, we have a use case that we want to showcase with a POC, um, I think it should be, from a technical point of view, it should be relatively straightforward, I think. Um, So who can come up with a decent use case for this? Is that from Jenkins side or from Tecton side or somewhere else you think? Or um, the know, sure, use sure did, you, did you have some uh, use cases um, for the uh, um, summer of code, like the summer of code that you worked on? Yes, Andre. So what we did was basically because we had the first part working, which was Jenkins as a source, it was just trying out how would Jenkins send events to 
like a broker in the middle. So that became Knative. And then we were sending those job configurations. So um, then one was extracting all that information from event data, event data and just you know, running a task run uh, or a pipeline run, depending on what sort of information is received. So it wasn't, uh, it's not a very, like a detailed plan. It was just to sort of like test system out, but, but maybe this is something that we can build on top of, especially in terms of the use case, you know, if uh, we want to trigger something in, in tech on a new task run or pipeline run and want to extract certain information from the event that center were from Jenkins. So for now it's extracting information like name of the job, the time that it was just started. So the, the, that the task run that was just started would be the same name plus the sort of that version of whatever that particular build is. Uh, but, but yeah, that was for now. Okay. Um, so yeah, I have I'm, a next step, Andrea, or? No, I'm, I, th I think the, the, the work that needs to, would need to, to for, for this to happen is to, to make sure that the plugin can fix our CD events protocol. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then we could use easily use I don't know Jenkins plus Tecton like it's been done already. But instead of having Jenkins own cloud events format, we're having our CD events format. Um, so um, yeah. So so should we first expect that the plugin is updated to use the events that we define? You mean or somehow? Uh, I mean, of course, they, they can be. They could maybe be updated and to match whatever need uh, the Jenkins plugin has as well. Do, do you think should he, if he wanted to implement different format for the events to to match the CD events that we specify in this group, would it be mm -hmm. a different plugin, or it would it be possible to have the same plugin configured to send different form of, of events? Um, do you have any yeah. idea? Yeah, I think I would have the same plugin support um, the new sort of CD events events mm -hmm. because this was also something that while we were working, this was I think this was important for me since the start because I wanted to have that standardization. So I was very you know always trying to figure out how we can use the vocabulary. So I I am going to probably feel better that if we integrate it into the same event uh, plugin rather than making like a different plugin because that will have to support if, if that is going to support cloud events, you know, essentially the same um, workflow, but just using the events vocabulary. So I think it's just better to use one, like a right. single plugin. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. I agree. Um, I, I don't know, we could, we could uh, maybe try and uh, continues this discussion in the um, in the other meeting in the vocabulary meeting. That's what the, the meeting we used to, to drive the PSC uh, that we did initially. Um, yeah, that's that's one idea. Or it should be a separate meeting series for this POC itself. Shruti, are you able to join every other Tuesday on on the vocabulary meeting to discuss this POC? I actually don't know what time that meeting it's is. The same time that this meeting on Tuesdays. Oh, yeah, I think that works. Yeah. All right. So I guess Andrea, you're on those meetings at least. I'm not there very often. So maybe you can invite Shruti to those meetings unless she's already there. Yeah. You yeah. can take it from there. We do. Yeah. Thank Perfect. you. I see that. The, thanks. Great. Yeah. So I see the time is running now. Uh, I was uh, intending to talk a bit about SPDX. I don't 
I can't really talk too much about it myself, but it was stated on, on the interrupt meeting as well that SPDX is now a bit of materials standard. There is a, a white paper or some article about that linked here as well. Uh, but maybe we should postpone that till the next time before we uh, to, to discuss SPDX more in detail, I would say. So we can get through the agenda for today. So the vocabulary work stream, I saw Eric, you added a link, I believe, or someone added a link there to the... Uh, yeah, I just uh, went through, um, or last meeting was just me and Matthias, so we just discussed some uh, like generating code based on the spec. But I, I went through all the open discussions and all the open action points from the vocabulary group and listed them in the wiki just to, to have them there. Uh, and there's quite a lot of them. It's, we definitely don't need to do everything at once, but uh, yeah, somehow we should not forget the those discussions. Mm. Do you want us to lift some of those discussions here on the meeting or on so maybe not today then, but on the later meeting or should it? Yeah, I think it would be good to, to sort of look at, at everything that is open and pick one or two items every meeting just to be, try to get some like concrete decisions we can resolve some stuff. Mm. So let's keep that in mind for next uh, agenda as well then, Andrea. I can put an AP on me to not forget it. Uh, and we should also have it here as well. So there was nothing much then to decide to present from the last vocabulary meeting, Eric, when it was only you or Matthias. So no, did you make any good decisions? <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Uh, no. Both Matthias and me are in favor of having code generation, but it, it puts some requirements on how we actually like uh, machine or make the spec machine read protocol machine read. So there will be some investigation there at some point, but uh, the focus should probably be on that. Yeah. yeah, it's still very hard to hear you, Eric. Now, it's, it's yeah, I'm sorry, I'm on a bus, so just uh, okay, pretend I said whatever you wanted me to say. That's yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah, so we leave it for that for now at least. Uh, just a few minutes left, then. Uh, anything we should mention about meetups or conferences? KubeCon is approaching. I know we have already pasted links to KubeCon before. Anything to bring up there, Trace? I don't know about the uh, um, or something not like that yet. Uh, yeah, we still have that booth date. Um, I haven't gotten anything from them yet in terms of how we do it. Uh, let me um, shoot an email over to, to uh, Tracy Miranda or Jackie to find out um, for those events how we're supposed because I have three of them. Uh, I don't know if we're just supposed to show up at the booth and we're in the chat. Um, I'm going to assume that's how it's going to be done. So just be sure if you want to be part of that. The date for the uh, meet the events team is. Let me look really quick here. It's like October 12th, I think. Look, uh, it's October 13th, um, and it's 10 a.m. Um, mountain time, which would be noon um, East Coast time. Yeah, and it's six in the afternoon in Swedish time, Central European time. <clears throat> so my suggestion um, is to just jump on. Um, I don't know if it has been announced yet, but uh, Kara um, 
is, I believe, starting to go to work for the Linux Foundation shortly. So maybe once she is on board, we will see more um, activity around this or more clarity. Mm -hmm. She is actually scheduled to be part of the events discussion, so. <laughs> oh, nice. Good. So anything else? Time's up now, but anything else on conferences or meetups? No? No? For me. Blog posts, presentations, anything else? Any other business we should bring up? No? So time's up then. Thanks for attending today. Thank you guys. Speak to... We have a name, right? We have a name. Yay, I know. Yay. We have a GitHub Yay. repository. It's Thank great you yeah. progress. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.